winning your life is, it goes beyond just a t-shirt, for sure. I, I wake up every day knowing that I am representing not only Max and Jill, but the rest of the Powerhouse staff. And whatever I do should be to the fullest ability of myself. And that only makes everyone else better. So winning your life is doing everything you can now so you can take care of others later. I was very happy with all the workouts. They were all a unique challenge, which some years it's not always the case. I'm glad it's over because now I know a lot of things I need to touch on and improve on to make my goals happen for next year. A few things that I always try to fall back on when either have a screw up or a moment where I feel like I didn't do my best and I'm disappointed. I have a pretty awesome support team of people that truly care about me and want me to do my best and I can rely on them to be a sounding board, help me out either at the gym, at home, make sure I'm eating right, to make sure I'm training as high of a level as I can. Also making sure that I'm not overdoing it and I have a good balance everywhere. Uh, the first week really tripped me up. The 20 minutes challenged me on my pacing more than I expected. I came in overconfident on what I could do and underprepared as to when I needed to pace myself, when I needed to push the pace. And I think I got that backwards screwed up a little bit. Right now, to start off this 2019 campaign, I need to reset my body a little bit, take some time off, make sure I have all my you know, joints and all my muscles are feeling good, ready to put in another big year of work. Right off the top of my head, things I need to improve on are gonna be classic CrossFit pacing and realizing what I need to do to make myself better in each different time domain that we're gonna see. I wanna say 18.3 was really fun for me. A lot of the gymnastic components I've never had the highest confidence in in a high rep situation. So having you know, a daunting number of double unders and a big number of ring muscle ups and bar muscle ups and for me to put a really, really big effort on that workout and after the open look at the leaderboard and see that I placed in the top 300 in the world for that workout was pretty incredible. That's insane, holy cow, I didn't actually know that. It's hard for me to put words to how impressive our community was this, this open. I don't think anyone else in the gym realized how well we would all do, everyone. I mean, I had friendly competitions between my mom and myself. She was doing the scale workouts and she's calling me out, like, oh, I'm gonna beat your score on the scale. And I'm like, all right, I hope you do, because then I'm gonna redo it and crush you again. So stuff like that was super fun to have. I don't think we've had that type of community engagement in the last four years that I've been doing the Open. And to have that also took pressure off of me and what I was doing and gave me a good perspective as to what everyone else was doing. Pretty much every workout, there was never a moment where you know anyone failed, right? That's one thing we get wrapped up in is are we failing workouts? No, you've probably never done something and if you did even attempt or get it for the first time is life changing. Right, the, the confidence that you can get, that I get when I do something for the first time or I do something better than I ever have before because of competitive atmosphere, it's, it's hard to put into words, but it's, 
so important. Coming out of the open, I think everyone deserves to feel good about themselves regardless of what their scores were. If you competed, you, you put yourself out there, you gave yourself a chance to see what you're made of and maybe you didn't meet your expectations, but that gives you the opportunity for the next year to you know, look at yourself in the mirror and be like, all right, I wanna get that movement. Maybe what do I have to do when I'm eating? What do I have to do when I'm training? What do I have to do with my mindset to get those things done? Because we're all more capable of anything that we know. I'm speechless, really. I am excited for what's to come. Right now, it's an awkward time during the year where, you know, I thought I would be moving on, but I also had the opportunity to reflect on a lot of different things. Like, I realized I wasn't eating enough post-workouts during the open, and that didn't help me recover the way I normally do. I also realize uh, to get better at some things, I have to compete against people more often throughout the year. So giving myself new training partners, new looks from different people will only help build my experience and then hopefully I can continue to improve and show people what I'm made of. 2019, eh? That's the goal now? 2019, looking for a no doubt finish in the open, qualify for regionals. I don't want to be on the bubble. I don't even want to have to think about redoing workouts. I, I learned a lot from 2018 that's going to set me up for the best year, the best open yet. And I'm just constantly learning more about my body and about myself as a competitor. I think with the open finishing and having a new perspective on the rest of the year, we're only in the best place we've ever been, right? The whole gym improved on whatever you were from a year ago, and that's super important to look back on. So what I want everyone to, to see or to realize is go back, imagine yourself a year ago, and place yourself in today. Could that previous version of yourself done the same amount of work or the quality of work that you did today? So how often do we get the opportunity to, to really sit down and put what we're made up to words? So it's a good time here. That's cool. I like that. All right, well, thank you, dude. Thank you. Rock on. <laughs> and that's a wrap. <laughs>